Hi friends, welcome to Storytime on the Back Porch. I'm Lisa, this is my furry friend Bitsy, and this is Lila. We have a fun story today. It's about a bagel, a cupcake, a donut, and some other really sweet treats. But they like to dance. It's called Bagel in Love, written by Natasha Wing, illustrated by Helen Dardick. Let's find out all about this dancing that's going on with bagels and donuts. Take a look. Bagel loved to dance. It made him happier than a birthday cake. He never felt plain when he was spinning and swirling, tapping and twirling. But he didn't have a partner, so he couldn't enter the dance contest. Dance contest tonight. Bring your partner to the Cherry Jubilee. Prizes. Bagel asked the best dancer he knew in Bakersville to be his partner. Poppy told him his dance steps were half-baked. He asked Pretzel, who was at the spa getting a salt rub. She told him his moves didn't cut the mustard. Monzo flat out told him no. Bagel didn't give up. He knew there had to be someone out there who'd love to dance with him. With a hop, skip, and a pirouette, Bagel set off to Sweet City. He waltzed up to a table at a busy cafe. I bet you're all fabulous dancers. Croissant rolled her eyes. Are you trying to butter us up? Actually, said Bagel, I'm looking for a partner for the Cherry Jubilee Dance Contest. Bagel tap danced like the famous Fred Eclair. Check it out. These fancy feet. Call me flaky, said Croissant, but those moves are totally stale. He held out his hand to Donut. How about you? Donut just stared at him, her eyes glazed over. Make like a mixer and beat it, said Cake. Bagel felt dumped, like yesterday's rolls. He didn't give up. With all his courage, Bagel hopped onto a pedestal. Whoever can match me, step for step, I'll take to the Cherry Jubilee. While Bagel tap danced, Croissant, Donut, and Cake pointed and laughed. No one stepped forward to dance with him. Bagel felt crummy. Soon the cafe emptied out. Everyone had gone to watch the contest. He climbed down from the pedestal. Maybe next year, he whispered sadly. Bagel stood outside the empty cafe, all alone. He heard music coming from the Cherry Jubilee. His feet started tapping again. To his surprise, he heard a reply. Tap, 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 tippity, tap, tap, tippity, tap, 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 tippity. Tap, 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 tippity, tap, tap, tap. He tapped again. Tap, tippity, tippity, tap, tap, tap. Tap, tippity, tippity, tap, 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 came the response. Who's tapping? Out stepped the cutest cupcake Bagel had ever seen. Her frosting was piled high. She smelled oh so sweet. Was that you I heard dancing? asked Bagel. Yes, said Cupcake, but I'm not very good. You sounded pretty good to me. I bet you're better than you think, said Bagel. Shall we give it a whirl? Bagel spun her around and around. Then he tossed her in the air and caught her in his arms. They ended in a dip, gazing into each other's eyes. You're an incredible dancer, said Cupcake. Her eyes twinkled like sugar crystals. Bagel felt all toasty inside. So are you. Cupcake blushed red velvet. Would you be my partner at the dance contest? He asked. Pretty please with a cherry on top. I'd love to. They raced off to the Cherry Jubilee just in time to enter the contest. Bagel and Cupcake danced circles around the other contestants. Their fancy moves wowed the judges. But for Bagel and Cupcake, winning the grand prize trophy was just icing on the cake. Aw, that was such a sweet story.
Get it? Sweet with cupcake and donuts. Really fun. Bagel in love. Thank you for joining us today for Storytime on the Back Porch. Be sure to subscribe for many other read aloud stories.